example, Anita Monk has rejected the removal of Chiro Municipality Member of Parliament, Horrible Semu Junganda, from his role as party whip for the FDC. Me, I, was, I am here as FDC because of the National Executive Committee, not because of Nandala. This comes after a faction of members of parliament petitioned the speaker, requesting her to hold the proposed changes. Parliament of that lunatic behavior. But they have brought it themselves, and they should be embarrassed. I saw my friend, my brother, and Svam celebrating an irregularity, a lawyer of his, his teacher. What I'm talking about, I know there's no way I could have accepted this appointment unless it complied with the law. The working committee that appointed uh, Honorable Semuju, I have a minute, is the same working committee which appointed me. It should be remembered that uh, earlier this month, uh, Horebo Nantela Mafabi notified the Speaker of the party's decision to dismiss Horebo Semuju Nganda from his position as FDC whip in Parliament and replace him with uh, Horebo Yusuf Sivambi. However, Right Honorable Anita Monk, the Speaker of Parliament, has called on Nandela Mafabi to provide enough evidence of a meeting where agreement was reached among FDC members of Parliament to remove Horebo Semuju Nganda from his role. So right now, Horebo Semuju Nganda is still FDC party whip in Parliament until Horebo Nandela Mafabi provides enough evidence on this matter. Away from that, uh, Bobby Wine's camp, National Unity Platform, has lost one of its members identified as Joseph Nambose, who died yesterday in Jinja Referral Hospital. Nambose was a teacher by profession. A few years ago, she crossed from uh, DP to FDC, and uh, recently, together with uh, Horrible Paul Miru, they crossed to Bobby Wine's camp, National Unity Platform. Reports have indicated that she succumbed to chest pain related complications. She's been a resident of Mbumo Day National Housing Estate in commercial cell that is in Jinja City. May her soul rest in peace. Well, away from that, well, this is a Ugandan identified as Habib Bosco Magara, 42 years. He was a scientist and uh, he becomes the very first identified Ugandan to die in Ukraine since Russia invaded the country last year. He died in a bomb blast this month, and according to the family members, he had been missing since last month. Uganda's ambassador to the DRC, Tuaha Matata Magara, said they are working tirelessly to repatriate the body and accord the late Edison Barrio. May he so rest in peace. <music> Away from that to the entertainment industry, Alien Skin's bodyguard champion Gudo has been offered a scholarship to study at Kampala Parents until he completes his primary level of education. This came after the State Minister for Gender and Culture, Horebo Pismutuzo, requested Alien Skin to surrender champion Gudo to her in order to acquire proper education and a conducive environment to grow. Congratulations to him right there and of course we wish him all the best. Well, away from that, uh, Shuba Kalunji has become the very first Ugandan female artist to own a record label. She took to her social media platforms and uh, revealed the news to her fans. Having been in the industry for 12 years, she thought it fit to start teaching other artists through her own experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah.